Hey, welcome back. Hey. <laughs> One down. I, I'll get the flip jump out somewhere. Yeah, it'll happen. Mm-hmm. Um. You were going to say something? Some ghosts. Oh, where am I going? Merry go around. Yeah, okay, ghosts. Ghosts, in general. They, they spook me. Okay. People people often say that they're afraid of skeletons. For me, no. Nah, ghosts. Is that a, oh, that people are afraid. Okay. Yeah. Like, uh, it, it's in one of Disney's top ten horrifying facts. You know, and all those other top ten videos. Top ten blah 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 blah. blah, blah. And it's okay. like, um... Oh, it's so scary that Disney has an actual skeleton and it's homage of <laughs> thousands of skeletons. <laughs> oh, man. I'm like, no, I don't see... I don't see where you're coming from, personally. Yeah. Uh huh. Because that's not spooky. People die a lot. Yeah. And when you have like two thousand skeletons, one of them is just bound to be real. <laughs> just, just you heard that to be. that uh that um shower thought that there are like millions of dressed up skeletons buried in the ground. Yeah. <sighs> Millions. I, I don't want to get like really spoopy here, but oops. Spoopy. Spoopy. There he is. Hey, buddy. I have always. I, I want to tell like my loved ones, please just like put me in a pine box. <laughs> just, whatever I'm wearing, just find something that looks nice and then just I the will, cheapest box you can find. I will strip you naked. Actually. actually <laughs> <laughs> let's just leave that awkward line of conversation there. Yeah. Actually, uh. I have considered one thing that kind Would of... Did you go down like one or two little clicks on the volume? Yeah. Um, I have considered one cool idea, which was an urn that is biodegradable. I think they have that already. No, it's, I mean, like, I'm not inventing it. I'm just saying... Oh, you like, it would be cool to do that? It would be cool to do that, because then I'd be a tree, and I would inhabit the tree, and then uh, we would get the Evil Dead series. Sort of. Just that one scene. Mm-hmm. Have you watched Evil Dead? I... Books. Yes. Uh, the remake. And I get into a lot of trouble so, from people who are like, oh, you only watched the remake and not the original. If I could find the original, and I'm not about pirating movies, not that I'm, like, against it, but... Not, yeah. I, I'm not quite... I, I'm, a, I'm a weird combination of lazy and not tech savvy <laughs> to uh, to want to, like, pirate things. And you're yeah. just, like, net red box or something. Stop! <sighs> Whoa... I'm on it. Uh, these books in order. Uh, where was I? Uh, Evil Dead series. Oh, yeah. So I, I watched the remake when it came out in theaters. Yeah. That was very good. Um, I, I It looks right up my alley with kind of the goofy... Yeah. As long as you're goofy right away and you don't, like, hedge your bets. Oh, no. They hedge pretty heavily the first... Well, the first one is, like, half spoopy. Because I can't do that. I can't do half scary, half... The, the first one is half spoopy. Uh-huh. And, uh... The rest, what you'd expect from, I don't know what you, what era, the nineties, the eighties, eighties, nineties. You know, it, it it's came what out you'd the expect, 80s. you know. Yeah. And uh, they try to be spoopy, but it's not. It doesn't work. Uh huh. Eh. On me because okay. I have a very refined palette of things that scare me, mm. which Exhib are demons. Exhibit A. And that piano. Alright, be quiet. No, no. I'm gonna jump on top of it. I can't look. There it is. Oh. Okay, I never. Look at that. It's like under him. Yeah, he's he's guarding it. I like have to wake it. Of... That's. That. It's messed up. It freaks me out. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. That is. Mildly scary. It was scarier. When I was oh, a kid. extremely. I'm all a fan of loud noises. Um, I hate to keep talking about Frankie Muniz on the series. Uh, <laughs> Who's that? Frankie Muniz was, uh, I believe he was the character from Malcolm in the Middle. He's Malcolm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he was in a bunch of, like, he had a, stop. He was in a bunch of not quite so high budget, uh, stop it, um, movies in the 90s and, uh, or Millennium. It's in that weird gray area. One of them was, uh, he was in Agent Cody Banks. He was in Big Fat Liar with Paul Giamatti. He's always about, like, the 90s kid who gets in trouble. Stop. Yep. Yep. Um, I'm, I'm, okay, I'm so looking it, at him now. It, yeah. <laughs> Are you looking at it? Yeah. yeah. He does that weird adult thing where he grows up. 
you know, okay. that weird adult thing. That weird adult has thing that do. everybody has to do. Uh, where am I going? Okay, so he was in a two. Oh, oh, oh. I did it. Oh yeah. He was in a two thousand. He was. I'm. I'm done now. He was in a two thousand and five movie called. I think it's called Stay Alive. Yeah. And the premise is that they are playing a video game, and I guess the video game is spooky, and then. It, oh yeah. It's the origin the... of if you die, for, if you die in the game, you die for real. If you die in the game, you die. And oh. shit. Sorry, language. Um. Oh. So. At the very beginning, they are explaining kind of the plot of the game inside the game. Stop. Yeah. And uh, one of them uh, is pulling away from a castle, and uh, it pulls farther and farther away from a castle on a stormy, stormy night. And then um, right as it gets to the end, and it shows the title card, there's a big old screaming ghost phantom thing. Yeah. Right in your face. And I remember thinking, I am such a pansy because I jumped at that. All right. That's Everybody a, jumps Well, once. it's a physiological thing. I yeah. can't... Like there's just something in your face all of a sudden you're gonna jump. I have strong scary opinions. I I'm a big man and I avoid <laughs> situations that scare me. <laughs> um uh, I watched I watched Freddy Krueger. Okay. When, Stop! No, no. I guess more realistically no. I watched Nightmare on Elm Street. <laughs> That's good. Uh, Freddy Krueger is not a thing. Um because One, yeah, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Nightmare on Elm Street is Freddy Krueger, right? That's correct. Okay. I watched, like, the third one out of context. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm uh, sure now I'd be like, yeah, this is nothing. But back when I was, I don't know, oh. 10, 11. <laughs> oh, story I, when you're done. Go ahead. Yeah, I was just spooked. Did you mean to do that? No, I didn't. I'm... I just wanted the coin and then to jump out of the room. I'm still rusty. I hour yeah. drive here. Hour drive. It's a long way. Yeah, tell your story. Um... And I went to, like, two years of therapy, and that was one of the key components of my therapy. But you watched a... <laughs> yeah, because I was afraid that things were going to, like, slide out of the mirror and kill me. Ugh. So, like, I didn't want to look at myself in, my, in the eyes, because I was afraid that, you know, it just, like, be looking back at me, and then all of a sudden it'd look away, and I'd be like, shh. Ugh, ugh, ugh. And you had that thing where you don't want to be watched, yeah. and I can't deal. Um, this... Part of, like... Part of like my, my power and my like mantra in life is that I can take traumatic experiences as a kid mm -hmm. and make them help Positive. help people later, help people besides myself. Yeah, yeah. I uh I was staying at my grandpa's house and yeah. God I wish I could uh I can see the poster right now. It's this movie where toys come to life. It's toy soldiers? Uh maybe. There's like Barbies on one camp and then there's uh Oh and then uh, there's um and like GI Joe is like Little Soldiers or something. Yeah, like Little I think Soldiers. It, I think it's called Toy Soldiers. Um, anyway, uh, I didn't know. Uh, I had this. I had a similar effect with Robot Chicken also. Yeah. Uh, Big Blue's balcony. Um, and I didn't. <laughs> I didn't know what stop motion was. So I thought this was just a movie or a sketch comedy show <laughs> where where the toys came to life. And I was sitting in my bear, my grandparents. Um, just blanked out basement. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what it is. Small soldiers. Um, <laughs> and um, oh, that's where I want to go. And uh, I, I couldn't get out because I, I kept looking at like the soldiers as they were doing battle and yeah. some kind of like neighborhood party or something. That oh my god! I, that just I got, got so you. freaked out. Like back when I was a kid, I started watching Family Guy. Probably be really honest before I should have. Yeah, same, and same. Rot Robot Chicken came on right after that. That's and beautiful. It is beautiful. But I... Where am I going? I couldn't... Um, it freaked me out. And I was like, yeah, this is funny, but I can't get out of like the weird context that... Like, why are they alive? Yeah. Oh. <sighs> I gotta think about where I'm going. Where are they alive? Oh, Seth Green, you beautiful person. He, also, Ryan, whatever your name is. I uh, can't remember. God, what's his name? Matt something? Matt Ryan, Ryan Senreich. Ryan, Ryan Senreich. Senreich, yep. They have a yep. sketch about him where he's impotent. Yeah, they have a lot of sketches about <sighs> him where he's impotent. Where he can't get it. Where am I going? I don't know. You distract me always. I know, that's my job. Oh, great. Okay, so... Maybe... I'll get it. Hey, uh, we'll get it next time. No! Yeah, look at I it. I have to. No, look at it. No, let me just get it. Okay. Okay. 
<laughs> this jump is incredibly hard in the there DS version because you don't have octagonal movement. That's silly. Yeah, it's really dumb. Okay. This is where you're supposed to go? So here's the oh, hi, Boo. Eh. Hi, Bell. So once I'm up here and I know where I'm going and I stop talking to you. Eh. Hi, Bell. There he is. Okay. Why Beating is... him is easy. Yeah. Getting up there is kind of the pain in the ass. Why uh, does he make the err noise that is the same noise as I... get there? Oh, okay. Didn't you want that box first? Ah, oh, I don't care. I probably should have grabbed it. Isn't that box a one up? <laughs> I'm sure it's in there. Yeah. With your zero <laughs> lives? Yeah. Oh. All right, we'll see you oh, next time. See you next time.